Now, there's a lot of different ways that you can monetize your content on the internet. A lot of people will use platforms like Ko-Fi to generate donations directly from their blog or even their YouTube channel. Well, I'm Michael with Rider Sanctuary, and today we're going to be looking at Ko-Fi and whether it's a good system to use. Now before we get started, if you hit the like button to help the channel out, and for more videos about blogging, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always hit me up on social media, on Twitter or Facebook, or use the contact form on ridersanctuary.com's website. Now there's a lot of different platforms that are like Ko-Fi on the internet. This gives you a direct link that you can share and distribute and generate some donations from your supporters. Now one of the benefits of using Ko-Fi though is that it doesn't take out any fees when anybody gives you money. Unlike some platforms, I'll charge you 5% on top of whatever you have to pay PayPal and Stripe. Ko-Fi is a completely free system to use, to an extent. In the free version, Ko-Fi is extremely limited as to what you can do. I mean, it's a good way to get started, but you're not going to be able to add things like your Google Analytics or open up a shop. Well, you can open up a shop, but you're also going to be paying 5% of the fees of anything you sell. The fact that is the only fee that Ko-Fi charges is on the free account in the shop. But all the other bells and whistles for Ko-Fi are locked behind the $6 a month paywall. However, unlocking everything with that $6 a month opens up the doors to quite a few possibilities. Now, among some of the things I really like about Ko-Fi is definitely the actual page. This just has a really clean and sleek layout and you can scroll down and find all the pertinent information about any creator. You've got your gallery on the left and your blog post on the right. It's really easy to use and it looks, uh, it looks more like a social media site than anything else. In fact, I've come across a lot of systems that aren't nearly this well developed. Another one of my highlights is being able to add images and create albums with ease. So if I was to go up to gallery, I can add a new image or create a whole new album. So like in any of these albums, I can do Colorado Living and then I can fill it up with all kinds of images from Colorado. As you can see, I really haven't done a lot with my account, but I plan on changing that in the very near future. But my point is still sound. It's uh, very easy to use and add images to it and it gives more of a personalized aspect to your uh, supporters. And then your posts are fairly easy to create. You just click on that and you can see all the posts that you have already. And if you want to add something new, just click on the button. Let's say we want to do a blog post. And now we have the editor, which is very easy to use. You have uh, your basics for your text um, editing system. You can add videos, images, add links. You can embed certain content, like if uh, you can drag and drop a YouTube URL into that and it'll embed it for you automatically. You can add all the different tags so people can search on Ko-Fi to find you. And you can select the different audience, so like everyone, supporters only, or your monthly subscribers only. So it's a very intuitive and simple system to use to create new content. Another thing I like about Ko-Fi is that it gives you a lot of different ways to market your site. So if you wanted to go with a shop, you can do commissions. Commissions are kind of like if you were a graphic designer and you wanted to create some artwork for specific customers, or if you were a musician and you want to compose a certain type of music piece for it, you can add it in there and charge whatever and come up with a way to transfer the files. Then you have your stream alerts that you can add to systems like OBS, which is what I use, and you just copy and paste the URL into your uh, browser window and uh, it'll show on the live stream or video anytime anybody donates to your platform. And then you have a slew of buttons and widgets here that you can add. So you got the Ko-Fi button, which is fairly easy to use. You just uh, design it however you want, copy and paste the code into your website. From here, you can change the color to virtually anything in hexadecimal. So you can pretty much come close to your um, website's aesthetic. But if you wanted to go with the just basic image, they have the default there, there and you can pick any one of these five colors. Um, it looks nicer, but you don't have the flexibility as the button here. And then you can go back through, you got your donation widget, which works uh, similar to a lot of the other ones. You can see it here on the left, it says support me, but you can change that text to tip me. You can change the color of it. And then you can go through and copy and paste this directly into your website. Or you can also use the Ko-Fi logo and images that are free to use. You can use them 
um, in your website so it comes in a zip file that uh, has a whole bunch of different things you can do with it but they do have stipulations they don't want you to abuse it so like this logo misuse uh, change the colors of it squishing the font stuff like that now a lot of companies and brands will have this kind of stipulation wordpress is among them you have to have a, a certain the w inside the circle a certain uh, font it has to be a certain color but as long as you adhere to all the things that people want you can use them however you see fit and then you have the wordpress plugin that you can install directly into your wordpress website if you have one and uh, it cuts out the middleman of having to copy and paste code so it's just more convenient and if you use website it probably save you quite a bit of time unfortunately when you're pulling data from third party it will impact your speed depending on co servers on how fast they would be you might not notice that much of a difference i might just run a test later on to find out if there really is that much of an impact between co uh, using the button plugin versus um, just create my own but that's something to keep in mind is that anytime you do a call to a third party that's outside of your website in wordpress or any website for that matter it will impact your performance how much of an impact it makes completely depends on your web host server who you're pulling the information from and the layout and programming of your website there's a lot of things that go into it at any rate ko-fi does bring a lot of the cool things that you would expect out of a donation platform i especially like the image gallery and the view the uh editor for the post is really sleek and i like how it runs and works out not sure if i'll ever use the shop because i really don't sell anything i might sell some ebooks later on through it just to see but you never know the commissions part is pretty cool for anybody who's uh creative and uh, wants to do some commissional work it's always good to diversify so what about the six dollar a month fee so that is much higher than a lot of other uh, systems that are out there. Like there's some out there that don't have a monthly fee, but they charge 5% on top of every transaction. So compared to those kind of platforms, you would have to have at least 40 donations every month in order to make up that $6 a month fee. Now the thing that shines though, is that anytime you grow beyond that and you get many, many more subscribers, and we're talking like in the hundreds and thousands, then Ko-Fi is incredibly cheaper than anybody else that is out there. Most platforms base everything off of their percentage fees on everything you collect that's out of a whole. Ko-Fi is just six bucks. So when you're comparing it with Patreon or buy me a coffee, once you hit more than a thousand subscribers, you're gonna be saving hundreds of dollars every month. You just gotta get your Ko-Fi account up to that point. And that comes up to marketing, which I don't do a lot of. I'm sure a lot of people out there do. So there you have it, that's Ko-Fi. I haven't really got a donation out of it yet, but I do like the layout of the system. I've actually talked to the developers directly, really nice guys, and uh, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube especially use Ko-Fi on their videos. But I really like the layout of the entire site. It's sleek and nice, and uh, I want to play around with it some more. So what's your favorite method to monetize your content? The internet is full of different ways you can monetize. You just got to find the best ones that work for you. Not everything has to sit around AdSense, and really in the grand scheme of things, AdSense really doesn't pay a lot. But if you get a group of ardent fans who support you through Ko-Fi, you can probably replace a full-time income relatively quickly. Of course, it also depends on what you offer. And that's where I run into the biggest problems that I just don't know what to offer anybody that would make a monthly fee worthwhile. But I'm still working on it. But if you found the video informative, hit the like button if you want to see more videos about WordPress blogging, freelance writing, text broker, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'll see you on Friday.